Uh, what's up, familia? Welcome inside the big week. Hope you guys are doing good. Keep in between the lines. Got your load secure. All right, so uh, I received a text message by uh, this camarada, man, um, who I highly respect, you know. And, um, you know, they're from up north. They're from Northern California. And um, he asked, hey, uh, down in Southern California, do people be using the N-word, right? And then uh, he goes to explain to me in the text message that, you know, he hears a lot of, a lot of raza using the N-word in Northern California where he's, you know, where he's from and everything. And then he goes and tells me that, you know, he doesn't like it and, and uh, so on and so forth, right? So, um... I told him, you know what, I, I, I'll make a video about it because I've never, well, no, I, I have talked about it, but it's been, it's been quite a while since I've talked about it, um, and one of my early, early videos is actually a video that got taken down, but, um, all right, let me go ahead and, and touch on it, um, I can only give you guys, you know, from, uh, from what I've seen. Uh, from my perspective, what I experienced, okay? Um, so that's what I'm going to do, all right? I can't speak for all of Southern California. I can't speak for anything of that nature, man. I don't, I'm not representative of anything, okay? I'm not representative of, of you know, of a race or a side or anything like that, homie. That None of that stuff, okay? So let me just go ahead and tell you guys, um... Back in the uh, back in the eighties, um, when I was a kid, I heard everybody, you know, talking, <laughs> kind of, pretty much, kind of like the way you hear me talk, you know, um, using words like S and Holmes and Vato and stuff like that. And you know what's crazy? When I first came on the scene right here with Cholo Trucker, I'm not I'm not sidetracking, but just. I, just something a little funny. I remember there was quite a few gente that came on and said, uh, hey, man, uh, the way you walk, the way you talk, and the way you dress is holding us back, you know, by using words like SM, Vato, and Holmes, and stuff like that, man. It's 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 holding us back. And and I just told him, like, hey, man, I, that's that's me, Holmes, you know? So, hey, dog, if, if I'm holding you back, then you got bigger issues. But... Anyway, um, Los Angeles, um, I mean, I, I guess I could touch a little bit on the IE as well, the Inland Empire. I know a little bit about the IE, but not as much, so I don't really want to speak out of pocket, homie. But, you know, the Los Angeles uh, area, man, I, I've said it before, you know, L.A. is not just L.A. and that's it, you know. Um, there are so many different sections with Los Angeles, um, and I'll get to that in a second. But what I do want to say is, um, I I got some cousins that grew up in South Central. You know, they're from South Central, all right. And South Central um, is highly populated with blacks. Okay. However, they never talked that way. They never used the N-word. Or they never said, like, you know, y'all. Or they never replaced the E-R with an A at the end of the words. Which is what you hear a lot of people, you know, today. Um, they replace uh, the E-R with an A. And that's how they pronounce their words. Um, <clears throat> they didn't talk like that. And this is in the 80s and uh, 90s. And uh, they never they never talked like that, man. Never. And the reason why I bring them up is going back to the whole sections of Los Angeles, right? South Los Angeles, when you get into, you know, like the South Central, the Watts, the Compton area, um, places of West L.A., you know, Mid-City, um Plays around the harbor area, you know, the Long Beach and the Carsons and stuff like that. 
those areas, man, you do have a lot of blanks, okay? Um, when you get into places like the San Gabriel Valley, um, the east side, um, the southeast, Sela, um, northeast, Nella, right? Those areas... There's not a lot of blacks in those areas, okay? I don't, I'm not really one to get into race and stuff like that, all right? But I'm, I'm, you know, just pointing it out for what it is, okay? Whether it's a good thing, bad thing, I, I don't know, nor do I even really care, Holmes. Race is not that, you know, big of an issue to me, man. But, um, but that's pretty much how it is. Now, does that mean you're not going to find it? Any blacks around, you know, the, the San Gabriel Valley? No, of course not, man. You know, there's there's blacks in, in the in the San Gabriel Valley, but not like you would in, say, you know, in places like the harbor area. You're going to find many more blacks in the harbor area, right? Um, Southeast LA, you know, Pico Rivera and uh, uh, Whittier, Downey, all those areas, man. The, the San Gabriel Valley, you know, El Monte, Baldwin Park, Puente, West Covina, you know, all those areas. Um, the East Side, uh, you know, Montebello, East Los Commerce. It's mainly predominantly more of the whole old school type of uh, culture when it comes to Chicano, right? You could say that that's where you'll find more of like the old school cholo uh, stilo. But I'm going to tell you guys, all that stuff, homie, even in Southern California, at least the areas that I just named, that's kind of a thing in the past. Um, all that stuff is kind of a thing of the past already. Uh, I think, um, well, no, I don't think I, from what I see, uh, you know, a lot of the... The lingo and, and stilo and stuff like that has kind of got into a lot of these areas already as well, you know. So, going back to my primos who were raised in South Central, um, never talked like that. You know, they never spoke using the N-word or anything like that. And this was at a time... Where there were many more blacks in South Central than there is today. Because, you know, believe it or not, while there are still blacks in South Central, okay, um, the population of blacks in South Central isn't what it used to be back then. All right. I don't want to say, I don't want to make it seem like there's no blacks in South Central. No, because there are. There are. Okay. There definitely is. But there's a lot of raza today in South Central. You know, a lot more raza today in South Central than there was back in the 80s. All right. So the style, the the influence of speaking that way and saying the N-word was on a much higher level back when my cousins were growing up, okay? Because I hear the argument of like, hey, it's just where you grew up. You know, it's just where you grow up. If you grow up around blacks and stuff, then that's, you know, then you just end up picking it up, right? I find that a little troubling because I don't think that's 100% accurate, Holmes. Um, Because like I said, my cousins grew up around all that. And they didn't talk like that. You know, they they still you know they still use the words homes and SA and you know they kind of cleaned it up since then and everything. They don't really speak like that, but they never use like the N-word or anything like of that nature. Now here's the thing. Their younger cousin, which is my younger cousin, who grew up in the same area that they did, he talks like that. He uses the N-word. And it's strange. They grew up in the exact same area. Okay, they lived in the same apartments. So they grew up in the exact same area. But my older cousins never picked it up. They never spoke like that. They never talked like that. 
my younger cousin, he did. Um, and not only that, I personally know people that did not grow up in predominantly black areas that talk like that. You know, it's, it's always the argument of, oh, it's just, I grew up around it. That could be true to a certain extent. Or to you, maybe that is 100% true. But now you got people that didn't grow up around that at all, man. I Look, there's people that grew that didn't grow up around blacks, homie, okay, that talk like that. Because I just don't want, because there are blacks that don't talk like that, okay. Shout out to my brother from a colored mother, my main man, Daryl. He's a good, uh, he's a good friend of mine, man. He's from the south. He's from uh, the eastern part of Texas. He doesn't talk like that, you know. But anyway... Um, but I do know a small handful of people, and I'm sure you guys can see it too, that there are people that did not grow up around, you know, predominantly black areas, you know, that have that kind of style, um, that still talk that way, that still use the N-word. And what's crazy is I was just, uh, I spoke at a high school, uh, not too long ago, and after... You know, afterwards, I still hung out with the teachers and everything. Some of the people from the administration and all. And they said, man, everybody uses that word. Everybody. And I was around the high school, man. I walked around the high school. You know, they showed me around the high school and everything. I, I'm i being real with you guys, man. I'm not sure I saw a black person. Maybe, maybe there was. I don't know, man. But I didn't. For dang sure, I didn't see a lot of blacks. And yet they're telling me everyone uses that word. All right. I know a teacher in uh, in Southern California. And I remember she, had, she said, doesn't matter. Asian, white, black, raza, whatever. Everybody's using that word. So, um... I think it has a little less to do of you growing up around it uh, because I remember my, my older cousins, him and, you know, them and their homeboys, they didn't talk like that. They did not talk like that. But yet my younger cousin who grew up in the same area that they did, he did pick up with it. And, um, you know, music... Music is very... It has a big influence. Look, music has a large influence, man. It really does. Um, I started... Because of music... Oh, maybe I shouldn't say because of music. But I will say this. Um, you know, I remember the Death Row days. Death Row Records. And, you know, how, how big like Tupac was. And West Side Connection. And all that stuff. And... I remember, man, I remember people kind of talking like that, not so much using that the N word, but you know, changing their lingo up a little bit more, man. Um, I remember st I started hearing people use the word dope. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh man, that's dope. I'm like, huh, okay, you know, and I never really heard anybody use that term before. You know, or when people say tight or, you know, things like that, man. It just slowly, you know, I started hearing people um, put that in their vernacular, man, using their vocabulary, uh, not so much the N word. And, and then just the way they will start pronouncing their words where today I hear a lot of people that pronounce their words, you know, a certain way. And um I just think uh I just think it really has to do much more with uh you know what's popular. Um like I said music music has a large influence man it really does. So um so you know you're going to you're going to find it in a lot of the music that people bump and everything like that and at some point you know it starts rubbing off on you. You know it's just it's it's just normal 
you know, human tendencies, man. When, you know, you start taking so much in, so much in, so much in, at some point, you know, um, you start connecting with it and at some point it starts rubbing off on you, you know, and, and hey, man, so be it. You know, there are some that, hey, man, that's what they grew up around and that's why they talk that way, you know, so be it, right? Even though I can use uh, the example of my older cousins and all their homies that did not talk that way. Now, I will say this, and I don't want to get too long-winded on this, man, because the video is already getting a little bit long, but I do see... <laughs> Another issue where like older people want to hold on to their youth. Older people want to stay connected with the youth. Older people wanting to talk like they're young, right? Like I hear about those in their 40s and 50s use words like cap. Like, hey man, it's all cap or hey, I'm not capping. And I'm like, hey, almost, when did that word come in, dog? Because I don't ever remember hearing that, right? But now I'm hearing a lot of people use the word cap. And capping and stuff like that, man. And it's like, damn, dog, you know, you're you're 49. When did you pick that up, right? But uh, that's a video for another day, man. Um, so now I do even hear older people using the N word, yet they never used it before, right? I had a, a you know, a, a, some vato I knew, Chucky. Okay, I kicked it with that vato, man. I kicked it with that homie. He never ever used to use the N word. Ever, homie, never ever used it. And then one day when he was like, I don't know, 31, I just started hearing him use it. And I was, and you know, this is quite a few years ago, and I'm like, you know, when, when did you pick that up, homie? You know, and like, hey, so be it. And you know, this Vato was, you know, he wasn't. Predominantly, he wasn't from an area that was predominantly black, but there was blacks around his area. And then he just went ahead and he used that. He said, like, oh, it's because where I was raised. And I'm like, hey, Holmes, I've kicked it with you many times throughout many years. Never have I ever heard you once say that. Not even close. But. You know, then he started using. Oh, you know, unfortunately, he 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 uh, he passed away. But, um, but yeah, man, I I have uh, seen older people now pick up on it, and then use the whole term of like, "Hey, man, it's just where you were raised." And I'm like, okay, but I, I've known you for twenty years. You, you never used it. You know, that's why it's a little bit mind-blowing to me i think it's it has to do more with kind of just i get i guess keeping up with the times homes i guess i'm not really sure man again i'm getting off topic here because i do want to make a video about that but anyway uh to answer you know homie's question do people down south use it yes 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 absolutely uh especially in some places more than others just like i was explaining different areas of, of los angeles um but yes Yes, definitely. Um, do I use it? No, Holmes, I don't, you know. Um, here's the thing. Do I like it? No, I don't like it. I don't like that. I, I, I don't like that stilo, dog. I'll just say it like that. I don't like that stilo for, for anybody to, to be using it. I don't like that style. You know, like I said, I, I got a, a good, close black friend of mine, and he's he doesn't have that style. That's not his get down, you know, but... Anyway, um, do I like seeing Rasa uh, talking like that or anything? Nah, dog, I don't. But here's the thing, though. Do they have that right? Yes, they do have that right. Freedom comes with a price. Okay? Freedom comes with a price. And they do have that right. Now, some people might say, like, nah, they don't have that right. Hey, homie, they're not getting incarcerated. They legally have the right. You've got the freedom of speech. People don't like the way I talk, Holmes. And, hey, so be it. You don't have to. That's okay. It's not going to offend me any. You know, so... And you have that freedom not to like the way I talk or what I have to say. You got that freedom. Right? Just like I got the freedom not to like, you know, people talking like that. Okay? But ultimately... That's their freedom of speech. 
If that's how they want to talk, if that's how their get down is, if that's what they want to do, hey, a toda madre, go for it, man. You know, I'm not going to be one to go and start, you know, pointing my finger in somebody's face. Hey, why are you talking like that? Nah, dog, you know what, man? You got that freedom. Go ahead. I don't like it, but hey, so be it. You know, my primo that talks like that, hey, man, I love my primo, man. That's my cousin right there, you know? I, I got a lot of love for my primo, and he gets down that way. So do people in SoCal use it? Honestly, man, I think people probably across the country and even outside of the country get down with it now like that. Why? It's hit mainstream so much, man, that it's very, very, very popular. Uh, to me, it's kind of unfortunate, but hey, dog, you know, again, man, we're in the land of the free because of the brave. So thus, you can talk that way. You can act however you want. You can dress how you want, man. Hey, so be it. So all I can all I can do is me not talk that way and, you know, raise my kids, which I did not to have that style. I remember. I remember, and I'm going to cut this video already, man. It's getting, really, getting pretty damn long. But I remember uh, my son, especially my oldest son, at one point sagging his pants a little bit. You know, we, we didn't grow up in a, you know, he didn't grow up in an area where there was blacks. It's just people were doing it. And I'm like, hey, man, pick your pants up. And then I had a nice, good, long conversation more than once, by the way. Right? And now, you know, my sons, you know, they don't, they don't talk like that. They don't dress like that. Now, somebody could come back and say, well, they don't talk like that around you. You know what? That may be true. That may be true. However, knowing my sons and everything, I really don't think they talk, they, they use that word, man. But uh, look, yeah, it may be true. Maybe they do use it. They just don't use it around me. But uh, again, just knowing my sons, I truly, honestly, 100% believe it, that they don't get down like that, you know. But anyway, man, that's all you can really do. Again, it's it's freedom, homie. So there you go, dog. If people pick that up and they want to run with that, hey, go ahead, pick it up and run with it, man. Do I like it? Nah, Charlie, homie, I don't like it. But oh, well, you know what? That's the price, homes. That's the price of freedom, man. Anyway, familia, man, this video was a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. But I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with that. As always, live your life like you're on the road. Be aware of surroundings and always keep it safe. This is blood makes you live. But loyalty makes fam. Till next time, this is Ed the Tall Trucker. Over and out.